Alt 105.9 Hawaii's Real Alternative. It's Fernando the Love Machine doing the walk of shame with you. And with me in the studio, I, I can't believe you're here. Uh, his music has defined the 90s decade and beyond. From the band Bush, we have Mr. Gavin Rosdale. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I didn't know you were a love machine. No one I, told me that. <laughs> I know. It's, it's good it's, for you. That's fantastic. Looks are deceiving, no right? No way. You're a handsome guy. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you. Well, Gavin, first off, uh, if any point during this interview, if you look down at your phone, I'm going to assume that it's Gwen Stefani letting you know that she's pregnant again. Because <laughs> that's what happened before, right? Um, what she communicated to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's a lot of communication. Um, no, I'm not expecting that call, but it would be a beautiful call to get. Right. What a, what a great girl. Well, well. First off, congrats on your growing family. And, <laughs> Thank uh, you. My my soccer team, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's get, we're getting there. Are, are you thinking of? Because um, no, you got enough no, kids no, for I'm a bit. No, 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 I'm not. You know I'm where I'm going me. with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we're good. Well, how do you balance uh, a, a family life with two very successful musical careers in your family? Yeah, so it's the constant challenge, right? And um, uh, as soon as you find out, let me know. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to finding out. I don't know. I think I always say the same thing when I get asked the, that question, which is that I think that everybody who has um, a career, has dreams, goals, uh, and a family finds it hard to balance it. That's why the song record's called Man on the Run, which comes out October 21st. Right. right. Uh, the Bush album, uh, Man on the Run, is to do with we're all in this crazy race to kind of to find what it is is going to define us or whatever it is you know satisfy us satisfy our bosses uh -huh. satisfy our wives our partners whatever right um ourselves and so i kind of took it as a cross section of everyone that i know uh that everyone you know guys and girls are just like just trying to find it there's not enough time in the day and there's not enough days in the week and so forth you know right. what i mean well, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, again, your new album, Man on the Run, uh, the sixth studio album for the band, the mm -hmm. second one since the band reunited, right? Right, right, right. right. And um, in a USA Today article that was just published, um, it said that, uh, it quotes you as saying, there's not one song of the new record that isn't going to translate live. Now, can you elaborate on that? On, on, yeah. How do you do that with a song? Um, well, basically, you know, we had the return of Bush a few years ago, three years ago, I suppose, two and a half years ago. And then we ended up doing so many shows, we didn't know how it would go, and it went so good, we just kept on playing, going wherever we, we could. And uh, so when I'm making the new record, I just wanted to make sure that those songs could really translate into a live setting and, and coexist with the other part, you know, other new songs on the catalog. Right. And so um, when I began to write, I basically would do, uh, uh, with the templates, the skeletons that I would use to write on the drums, would be you know very up in your face and quite big and and you know the arrangements didn't really change from the beginning of from conception writing them through to recording them so it was just a you know obviously I've got to have you know the best chorus as I can it's got to have lyrics that connect with people that's a given you know what I mean right I've got, right. got to have that yeah um, no time for atonal songs on the radio and. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I wanted the energy, and that's why I used um, Nick Ras Raskulinix to record it, to produce the record. Uh -huh. He's uh, basically a metal producer, so he was just doing Finish the Mastodon record. He's done like oh, nice. Deftones, Evanescence, Foo Fighters, Alice in Chains, Rush, done two Rush records. Amazing. So he was a real good vibe to work with, you know, and he's just like a, an incredible character, and uh, um, he, he maintained the energy level for us, and... I didn't think it was ever going to drop, but with a metal producer, it clearly was never going to drop. Oh, and I'm soft enough. I've got enough kind of melody and, and you know, that side of life that, that there's plenty of that. So he just kept it kind of, I guess, pretty hard, which is cool. Right. When working with that someone hard, that... Though. It's not hard, it's, but it's, 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 got, it's got kind of emphasis. When someone's working, yeah, w with metal, you know, you know that they have a high roof. Right. You know, so yeah, that way, yeah. you know, you can't get too crazy for them. You know, right, th right. They're, they're very open. And I have much more uh, bass than they like to use in heavy metal. Like, no kidding. I, I really love the low end. I love okay. reggae music, oh, dub. Nice. Yeah. So I like my records to be really warm down the bottom end. So between us all, I think we created something interesting. It's quite got a few electronic elements, just enough, but yet loads of guitars, pawn shop guitars, cool and like yeah. vintage amps and cool guitars, but like cheap guitars. And um, basically no guitar was over like you know 900 bucks. Oh, okay. And then vintage drums that are over 900 bucks, we oh. just rent them for the day, and just make this kind of crazy hybrid, garage-sounding electronics, using technology, but sort of make, make it sound older and worn and um, lived in and just different. 
Yeah. Yeah. Those Seismic. Are, yeah. <laughs> they got a lot of history in, in that yeah, word. So we, and, and a lot of modern sounds, you know, with a lot of these programs, you use dance programs and stuff like that. You can get some just wicked sounds. They just go that when you're just in a plain rock band, you go, oh, man, I want some of them sounds on my record. Right. That's how I feel. I go, there's so much. It's like a candy shop. I don't want to just eat like that. Right. I want everything in there. Um, so it's, it's, I hope it's an interesting uh, crash of sounds. Uh-huh. Well, you know, Bush fans all around the world are going to be able to experience you guys translating that live sound with their tu- tour schedule coming out, doing a lot of heavy touring next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, as the, uh, yeah. As the album drops. Uh, again, it drops... Um, Oct- 21, for 21st of October. Of, of, of and the October. single is out now as we speak. It's alive and well and belongs to all of you. All right, so get more Bush in your life. Stock them <laughs> online at bushofficial.com. Don't go to bush.com. That's an entirely different online experience. Again, bushofficial.com. Yeah, Google that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, try and Google it. There I'm not go. responsible for what happens. Oh, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> they got it, man. That way they make way too much money because apparently someone likes bush.com. <laughs> Gavin Rozell of Bush, it's an honor to have you in the Alt 105.9 studio this morning. Thanks for doing the Walk of Shame with us. Of course. Um, I feel a lot better for, for coming through the other side. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for leading me. Because remember, the only way out is through, just like my record. Amen to that. Got more music on the way on Alt 105.9.